1, the 1's there, 0 there, 0 there, 1 there. What's going to be the only thing that's low? All these guys are going to be high, but there's a low on the 9 pin. Okay, That's all the 7442 is. Um, well, what happens if you um, go to the uh, lab and you're out of 7442s? And your lab is calling for you to use the 7442. Well, why not just use the 74154, but just use the first 10? So 0 through 9. So you can do the same thing. Um, just enable it and just use the first 10 outputs. Um, there's a point I was trying to make here, and I can't read my notes. Oh, OK. Yeah, I know what it is. OK, because we're dealing with BCD, Let's use this example of, it does get 1010, 0, 0, which we know is an invalid representation of uh, inside BCD, because that should be 10 in the binary digits. Well, what's going to happen? All outputs are going to stay high, because it is invalid representation of a code. So all high. It's BCD does not have 1010, 0, 0, nor does it have 1011, 1100, 1, 0, 0, and on and on to 1, 2, 3, 4 ones. Because it's only good for from 0, 0, 0, 0 all the way up to 1001, 0, 0, 1, because that's 0 through 9. And the rest of these guys, 10, 10, up to 15, 10, those are invalid BCD numbers. Good BCD. So that's what's showing you is when an invalid code comes in, it's not going to indicate the presence of any code. OK, so now let's go on to something super important for one of the labs that you are dealing with. The seven segment display and its associated decoder. Okay, seven segment display. Chances are the first thing that stares at you when you get out of bed in the morning is this big, ugly, green thing that looks like this. It's saying six o'clock, six o'clock, six o'clock, get out of bed. So that is three seven segment display, seven segment displays. One, two, three. They're used in everything. Um, what these are, these seven segments are, because that's why they're called seven segments, there really is seven segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They've all got names. And just start at the top. A and go around. B, C, D, E, F, and then go into the middle. G. So seven segments. So um, they're all LEDs, and each segment is an LED. And when current flows through it, it's going to light up. Various combinations of segments can make the digits 0 to 9. The letters A through F, which are very important when we deal with hexadecimal, because we remember A is 10, B is 11, on and on, F is 15. You can also do some clunky combinations of like G, H, I, J, L, P, and U. But you don't really use these that much. But you will see these super a lot. You'll see these every once in a while if you're using a hexadecimal. So various combinations of those segments when they're lit up are going to make a number. So let's make uh, the number 2. Well, we're going to light up segment A, B, G, E, and D. And that looks like the number 2. Now let's make it 8. You're going to light up all of them. Dig it? OK, so there's two different types of seven segment displays. There's a common anode. So an anode, if you guys remember, 
so common anode from your uh, semiconductors, devices, and circuits class, EET 221, an anode. What is the anode? Well, that's the positive portion of a diode, a light emitting diode. So that's got to be hooked up to plus 5. So in order to get this to light, what are we going to do? Put a plus 5? No, because there is no potential difference across there, and there's no current going to flow. So what are we going to do? We have to put a zero there, zero volts or ground it, and now it's going to start lighting up because current is flowing through it. Okay. So since we made this an output there of zero, is this sourcing or sinking? Well, the answer is sinking because think about that it's not going anywhere with five volts and then it's already at a high potential and all you do is when you give it a logic zero you're pulling the plug out and that current can start rushing down to ground okay so um so what would you think uh, a common anode seven segment display needs for a single segment to light up well it would probably require an active low, i.e. a zero volt. So that's why your head did all that exploding earlier. There's active lows. That's why a lot of decoders use active lows. In this case, this decoder that goes along with a seven segment display is going to produce an active low for each one of the segments. So there's a system application activity in your book as you derive uh, sum of products expression for each and every segment, for each and every number or letter, I can't remember, but there's a way easier to do, way to do this. And that is the 7447 seven segment decoder. Okay, so what is the 